Hi everyone. So I am standing on the ground of the future camp area. And now the tree, the leaves are turning so it's fallen, it's beautiful. All the, the uh, needles from the pine trees have dropped down covering. So I, um, I was not thinking about buying Camp Harriet. I was not thinking about buying a property in Cambridge. But as I um, embarked upon the, the, the journey that the uh, ladies and I took, the We Walk with Harriet ladies, uh, I came here. One of the historians' uh, mother owned this house, and he brought me out here one day. And as soon as I stepped on the grounds, I felt the spirit of Harriet Tubman. And, and I'm a, a real estate professional. I did real estate investing and management for 32 years, and I'm very methodical when I purchase property. But in this instance, as soon as I walked on this ground, I had to have it. And it's, you know, I didn't look at the value or do any sort of market analysis. I just decided, based on what I, what I was feeling, that this is what I needed to do. So I did it, and I want to call it Camp Harriet. The walk for, for me and for the other ladies, a very spiritual experience, and that we all gain something amazing from it. And for me, I am committed to continuing the journey. And the most amazing thing about her is she walked to freedom. She could have just stayed in Philadelphia once she got there, but she said, no, that's not good enough. I have to go back and I have to bring others with me. And so that is what Camp Perry represents for me. Um, it's not enough that I walked and got those amazing feelings and commune with something bigger than myself. I now have to share it, and I'm going to share it here at Camp Harriet. So in, in Camp Harriet, we're going to do a couple different things. Uh, as you know, I'm, I'm a jazz singer and a singer-songwriter, so certainly I want to incorporate music. But the most important thing that I want to do here at Camp Harriet is I want people to always understand that freedom is a right. And in order to have freedom, you have to free your mind and you have to expand the way you think so that you can become the person that you want to be. You have to go inside. So when at, here at Camp Harriet, we, we are going to be in the open, beautiful air, breathing in the fresh air. We're going to be walking and seeing the sights along the Underground Railroad. And from that experience, you will be able to realize what freedom really feels like. Uh, I, I'm going to... I want to teach the history of Harriet Tubman and the history of her movement and, and her courage and tenacity. I, want, I think those are all character building things that we, we need to, to have if we're going to be productive people, uh, empathetic people. So it's going to be such an amazing experience. We're going to take things from here and you're going to take them back home and it's, and, and it's going to make you uh, uh, um, a happier person. Um, I am happy. I'm at peace. Uh, my disposition is, is very mellow as a result of me communing with nature and taking on this journey. Coupled with the fact that I met seven amazing women that I didn't know, and now I'm getting to know you. We, we, we have followers and we want to continue getting followers and we, we want to continue sharing the good feelings that we feel. I want to have this thing, I want to open this thing next fall. I don't know if that's possible. Um, COVID. I don't know where the pandemic is going to be. I don't know where the country is going to be politically. Uh, I don't know if all the funds will be available to make this happen, but I'm at least that's at least a, a target date for me, and um, we'll see what happens. But I am so energized, so excited. I, I love the energy that I'm getting from you and the help that I'm getting from people, and I'm, I'm grateful. So welcome to Camp Harriet. I want you to see it now, and then you're going to see what it looks like a year from now.